So just about two weeks back, I did a video you know, talking about two stocks right, where we could potentially see a bit more upside happening right, in the next few weeks. All right? And one of these stocks is called iFast, right? So over the past one to two weeks, you have seen iFast, right? You know, just breaking new highs, going up by more than 30 to 35%. And today, it has kind of hit a new record high. Hey guys, Joey here, top tier reminds you, Infinite Securities and Chief Trainer at Trading Impossible. All right, so a lot of people have asked me, you know, Joey, what do you think about iFast? And also, I talked about another counter called Sun Power, right? Which is still pretty much consolidating. All right, and today, we're going to look at these two stocks again, iFast and Sun Power to see where we are now and if there could still be a bit more strength or should we become like taking some profit? I mean, like for iFast, is it time to take some money off the table given that yes, risen by more than like 100% over the past one month, all right? So this is what we talk about. We look at the system as well to see what it says, or right, if there are any exit signals and if there can still be a bit more upside. So do stick around all the way to the end of this video because I think you're going to like what I got for you. Right? So this is iFast here currently trading at about $6.12, right? So it gives me the huge rally, I would say, since we first covered it when it kind of broke that $3.20 right around here. So yeah, that was when we first covered it around the 4th of January. And there were some upside targets that were drawn all the way to now, right? More than 100% upside in about a month, right? So let me just show you what was drawn just about a month back on the 4th of January, right over here, when we saw some really bullish move, all right, above that $3.20 level. It was then about 324, some upside targets that were drawn, you know, to about 360 and then to that critical four dollars resistance level and of course what happens was we kind of broke that four dollars as well all right and we kind of revised our targets higher to that five dollars mark and yeah it was kind of revised higher along the way right and yes this is where we are right now so a lot of people have asked me to joey what do you think about ifast is it time to you know take some profits right so what i would say is that for ifast given that we have risen by more than a hundred percent over the past three weeks to a month it's definitely wise to take steps to protect your profits that is key of course if you hit some of the major resistance level in this case you know our targets was revised higher to about that seven dollars and that's where you know one could potentially you know take some money off the table you know lock in some profits that's perfectly fine but more importantly what you want to do is that when stocks like these are kind of like rising all right and pushing higher over the uh, you know few days or weeks what you want to do is to raise your stop loss higher all right and how you can do it is to actually kind of uh, raise your stop loss just a few bits below the low of the previous day candlestick bar. Look at this, right? So for example, let's say you have got in somewhere around here on the 4th of January, you can see as prices start to hit higher and higher, you can see that as each new day passes, or you can see that um, the low of each candle gets higher and higher. Look at this, right? So as you move on to another day, another day, another day, um, it gets higher and higher. So the low of each day gets higher and higher. And that's a good thing, right? That's where the uptrend can continue or there's more upside for the stock. But how do you want to protect your profits as it moves up? Because we don't want to just cut our profit sh short, right? You don't want to just take profit and then, you know, after that, it continues moving higher, right? So what you do is to kind of take steps to protect your profits while in the meantime, allowing that stock to hit higher if it is if it can hit higher, I mean, if it can actually hit higher, we don't want to cut our profit short, All right? So along the way, we can raise our stop loss upwards, right? Below the low of that previous day candlestick bar. So for example, look at this right over here. So let's say um, on this day, the market has closed and we go on to the next day, we can put our stop loss just right over here. You know, so in case we do break down below of the previous day, all right, yes, we will get out automatically. All right, that's how we can take steps to kind of, uh, you know, protect our profits so that, you know, if ever we were to like kind of break back down below a certain level, we want to get out, we still make money, all right? So this is iFast here. And you can see that for iFast, yes, we kind of revise our targets again when we kind of broke that um, $5 level all the way to about six and then to $7 over the past few days. And it seems like just about $7, that was where some heavy profit taking came back, all right? So this is live, you can see that you can't put all the way down, all right, from a high of about $7 all the way to about 6 11 I would say about 10%, 10 to 12% uh, selling just as we touch that $7, right? So that's where we are seeing some heavy selling, which is normal, I mean, given that it has kind of risen by more than 100%, over the past few days. So yes, if you have like kind of set your stop loss or you kind of like set levels to take profit, like I say, you can put your stop loss, like for example, like the yesterday closing, all right, what has this, this was the candlestick bar for yesterday. All right, so for example, before the day even started, you can see that this is from yesterday, all right, and the low of yesterday was at 6.45. So you could actually put your stop loss at 
40, all right? So in case you have to break down below the low, a few weeks below the low of yesterday's candlestick bar, you get out, you still make money, all right? So that's how we kind of take, uh, you know, take steps to kind of protect our profits while allowing the stock to really ride its full potential. Or what you could do is you could also take some profit as we hit to some of those key resistance level like um, the seven dollars for ifas i mean like near 690 695 685 i think that's where you could also just you know take some money off the table because that's where you know sellers might come back again as we are approaching a very, very critical uh what we call psychological resistance level okay so right now i would say that for ifas we might actually consolidate I mean, the fact that we can't see a bit of heavy selling today, we might actually consolidate in this um, really volatile zone, all right, from like $6 all the way to $7. We might see a bit of consolidation above that $6, but now hopefully, all right, we see this $6 holding, all right, if not, if this $6 to break down, we might actually hit back down because we have gone up by quite a bit. So we might actually hit back down towards that 5 dollars mark look at this the five dollars mark would be where uh the 20 days moving average is as well and we've got like holding above last week above that five dollars before we started pushing higher so hopefully we see the six dollars hole if not it's probably back to that five dollars and that's where we will see some really good support coming back again that's where some bargain hunting might come back again all right so yeah just take note this would be the range for now all right hopefully this six dollar were to hold it might consolidate from six to seven over the next few days you know it's wise to see it consolidate a while you know it's more healthy for the uptrend to continue pushing higher that way rather than just you know pushing up every single day or week okay so yes i hope you can take steps to protect your profits all right so let's take a look at what it says on the one gt system the one good trend system that i have that kind of like you know guides us on um, some of the stocks to focus on and also when to get in and get out Okay, so this is IFAS on the one GT, the one good trend system that I have that kind of guides me on certain stocks to focus on and when to get in and get out. So I think I mentioned it in the previous video as well. We had some um, bullish one GT signal somewhere around September. You can see it started to consolidate, push up, we got to exit. All right, started to move sideways a bit, not much of a move. But more importantly, right over here somewhere around the 7th of January. And that's where we kind of alerted to it as well. All right, 7th of January, we got a one GT bullish signal you can see it's a green arrow up right away here and that was where it started to push up 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 all the way until today all right and that's where we are currently trading about six dollars and 12 cents so yes we got a bullish signal and that's when the move started but we are not seeing any exits yet so yeah the exit might come maybe over the day or over the next few days it depends right i think we do see a bit more selling that's where probably an exit signal will come out right but it doesn't mean like when an exit signal comes out means it would like come back all the way down i still feel that ifas is still a very good up trending counter all right so we might see a pullback uh for it to head towards some of those good support levels like the six dollars for now maybe even the five dollars all right that's where we can see some bargain hunting coming back again and for the longer term uptrend to continue and yeah probably we'll look at the system again to see if there are any exits or perhaps there's an exit and then maybe a new bullish signal would come out right so yeah this is kind of like a system that kind of guides us on when to kind of enter and probably when to exit as well so guys if you like this video be sure to give me an early thumbs up you'll definitely help out the youtube channel and thank you so much for doing this all right so let's go on to talk about another counter and this counter would be called sun power so i actually did a video on sun power as well just about two weeks back i mentioned that you know there could potentially be a bit more upside you know after some consolidation all right so uh, two weeks have passed and let's take a look at sun power again all right so this is sun power currently trading at about 0 0.94 you can see that um we kind of headed towards that very critical one dollars psychological resistance then just about two weeks back i mentioned that's where some profit taking can come back yes we kind of traded down all the way to around that 90 cents 88 cents support level and that's where we started to see a bit of bargain hunting coming back so let me just go ahead to reiterate the target again i would say 90 cents would be a very good um short-term support for now all right and that's where the 20 days moving average is all right i would say probably about 88 to 90 cents just around that range that's where we can potentially see uh, a bit of bargain hunting people accumulating on dips again right to ride the rebound back towards that one dollar right so this one dollar would be key for now right this one dollar would be key you can see that we kind of hit it there um just about two weeks back we touched about one two three about three to four times and that's where sellers came back to take it back down so that is a key level i would say we might actually hit towards that level again and that's where some profit taking can come back again but more importantly we would like to see a bit of bullish actions coming in just then hopefully sellers at one dollar 101 gets lifted out and then that's where we can probably see a bit more upside in the short term that's where we can potentially raise our targets to about one dollar and 10 cents so yes i mentioned about the trend 
uh, for this counter as well look at this right the red line the 100 days moving average is kind of like sloping upwards gently all right and this blue line the 200 days moving average is also kind of pointing upwards so mid to long term wise um, it still looks good in terms of the uptrend of course in the short term we can push up sellers come back in again you know kind of retrace back down and you know we might consolidate again but in the mid to long term as long as some of those good support levels like the 88 to 90 cents were to hold for now i would say there's still a chance for you know the uptrend to continue and we beat count breaking higher breaking at one dollar and pushing even higher right so this is some power right so let's take a look at you know what it says on the system if there are any bullish signal that came out or maybe there's an exit so this is sun power here on the one gt system as well so you can see that somewhere around i would say um november we got a bullish signal started to push up got an exit another bullish signal push up a bit right and more importantly somewhere around um mid of jan about 11 of jan we got a bullish signal went up and then that's where we got an exit signal recently right but then it kind of like started to push up again over the past one or two days at about 92 92 five right so yeah i mean even though we got an exit signal it remains to be seen if there could still be another new bullish signal that comes so as i say you know along that 88 cents to 90 cents support as long as prices to kind of like hold above that level we, the uptrend still looks good that's where we might actually see another bullish signal come back out right and then yes hopefully we break that one dollar that's where we can potentially see a bit more upside Okay, so this is Sun Power on the 1GT system as well. Even though we got an exit on the previous bullish signal, but I think this is still in my watch list. I'm, I'm looking to see if we have another bullish signal that will come out over the next few days. Yes, guys, so there we have it. We have covered just two stocks in this video iFast and Sun Power. So make sure you take note on some of the levels that I talk about whereby you could potentially take some money off the table. Like for iFast, you know, being um, having risen by more than 100% is also wise to kind of like protect your profit. So as I mentioned, you know, make sure you want to take steps to protect your profit. So as it pushes higher, you want to raise your stop loss higher so that you're able to retrace back down. You get out, you still make money. All right. So yes, I hope you have taken note of the levels for iFast and Sun Power. And let's see if um, that could still be a bit more upside as we consolidate over. Over the next few days or next few weeks right so joby here thank you so much for watching and if you have not yet um subscribed to this youtube channel be sure to smash the subscribe button so that you will not you know, miss out on videos that we share on this okay thank you very much